So welcome to another unboxing by theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant, and today I have a very, very special guest <laughs> and a special surprise as we are working on unboxing Pericles, the Pel Peloponnesian Wars designed by Mark Herman. So I took inspiration for this video from Mark Herman's video from about a month ago when he got the advanced designer's copy of Pericles. He had a friend's daughter, and I can't remember her name, she helped him actually unbox the game. So today, I have my daughter, Jane, who is seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera to Jane. Say hi, Jane. Hi. All right, say say what I told you to say. <laughs> this, is, this is Sparta. Yeah, this is Sparta. So we are a Spartan family. I'm aggressive, so I told her to say that. I thought that was pretty fun. So Jane's gonna help me. So Jane, let's go ahead and tear the plastic off. So today I did receive my copy on the P500 from GMT Games, my copy of Pericles. It came in all its glory today. Very, very exciting. I'm excited, if you can't tell. And I took a picture and posted it on Twitter and I had quite a few people saying, you gotta do an unboxing. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing and try to get this out tomorrow for people to see. So here we go, here's the box. Obviously, it's uh, one of GMT's big big box games. Very big, um, very heavy, right, Jane? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a heavy box? Not it's got some good, heavy. not that heavy. Nope. So it's got some weight to it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take the the top off. And we're gonna we're gonna put that there. So Jane, why don't you uh, hold up for us some of the items? Hold so hold the rule book up. Um. So this is the rule book. So here here's the here's the rule book. And bear with me, Jane is, is new at this. This is her first unboxing. But you can see this is the rules of play. It weighs in at 24 pages. It's very nice, uh, thick stock, and of course, full color, which is always awesome. Full color is so much better because it, it uh, helps you focus on certain areas. Full color is better, huh? Mm -hmm. It definitely is better. But it helps you focus in on, on important areas. You can see kind of the green areas. Lots of visual examples, helping you understand the, the different cards, the different pieces. So really a nice rule book, as always. GMT does a great job. Um, here's some different uh, battle procedures and that kind of thing, so pretty exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and now look at, Here what's this? is another item. You know what that's called? Um, Here, put it back. You had, it's called the playbook. The playbook. The playbook, and it has a really nice uh, picture there of some battle going on. But this is the playbook. This is how we're going to learn how to play Pericles. Has some setup charts, some different information, really nice looking, once again, full color. Uh, the playbook actually weighs in at 44 pages, so that's 12 pages more than the rule book. So that's uh, definitely gonna be some fun this, reading. Gotta try to get together, uh, get that together. Some more, what do you um, think? Those look like screens. Those look like screens to hide some hidden information, would be my guess. Because you can see, here's the aristocrat, uh, here's the demagogue, and these are the Athenians, and then you have the, the Spartans. Here, hold on, Jay. You have the Spartan pieces right there, and as you can see, these are gonna fold. So these are gonna fold like that, and they're, they're gonna create a mini screen. Has some uh, abbreviated sequence of play on the back, it uh, helps you understand maybe some of the issues, some of the things that you need to be aware of, and you're going to use that to hide your information. Very good. Nice job, Jane. You're doing a good job. So let's go ahead and put the screens down. So next, Jane, this is called the Player Aid. We love the Player Aid here at the Player's Aid blog, right? Mm -hmm. We do. So this is a fantastic Player uh, Aid. You can see <clears throat> there are four of them. So there are two Athenians, because this game is designed as a one to four player game, where you're, in essence, if you play with four players, you're going to be play, uh, playing a team of, team of two Athenians versus, here, hold them down here, versus two Spartans. So you can see, here's those player aids. They give you a, a different information. Like all good player aids, they should be succinct, very clear. Uh, minimal amount of writing just to remind you of different things and uh, here's a setup card. So this is the Athenian setup card 
And here's the Spartan uh, player aid, and there is their setup. So some good information, right? And they're very, very uh, good looking, nice color. They really, really pop. The one thing I really like about also about a great player aid, if you'll notice here, uh, here in the corner, right, right there, it says battle summary. It'll tell you the reference to the rule book. So here it says 9.4. You'll simply turn to 9.4 in the rule book and you'll understand what you need to do. So the next things, I'm gonna go ahead and hold this one up, Jane, because this one's a little bigger and probably a little more uh, difficult once you go ahead and get that other one ready. So this is the Athenian strategy matrix. So this is a guideline of how you can or should be following various types of strategies in order to do well in the game. You can see this is a big, big piece, lots of information, and it is two-sided. So it has the Spartan strategy matrix on the back. You can see there at the top, Jane's starting to get a little bit bored. Uh, and then this is the Athenian strategy matrix. So the next piece, this is the decision matrix for the, and I'm assuming for the bots, correct? Maybe? So yeah, when you play the bots, when you play the solo game, you're going to have to play at least some of the factions as, as the bots, and you'll follow uh, this flowchart. Once again, it's, it's pretty packed, lots of information. But my, my experience, these flowcharts are much easier to follow. Uh, they look a little intimidating at first. Isn't that a lot of stuff? Mm -hmm. Look a little intimidating at first, but once you get a, a feel for it, it, it works out pretty well. It looks pretty hard when you're playing the game if you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you think you would do well at this game, Jane? What do you no, think? Probably not. Probably not? All right. Well, you're like your dad. You're, you're a strategist. At least I think I am. So now we're going to look at the counters. Let's go ahead and hold those up. So these are beautiful. I uh, actually watched Mark Herman's video and he hates to clip counters, so these are rounded. So you can see they're already pre-rounded. You, you don't have to clip them. We so clip other games. We, we've clipped counters, right? I love clipping counters. It's kind of therapeutic for me. <laughs> but here's a Spartan Treachery counter. It is double-sided, uh, but very nice counters. They're struck right clean in the middle. They come out very easily. Not really any... Yeah, if you want to pop one out. There's no really dangling, dang, uh, hanging chads or anything like that, um, but they pop out pretty well. So we're gonna have to get a tray and put these in. Really nice looking. Uh, there are military counters, diplomacy, rumors, all kinds of different elements. And then here is the back. Really like the detail, those Spartan symbols, the Athenian symbol. Really nice, nicely done. It's a nice game. It is a nice game. This is a really nice game. GMT doesn't do anything but nice games. So there's the counters. So here's the next item, and it is the board game. And That's it, the board itself, right? Uh -huh. And here's the back. Yeah, we're actually gonna, we're gonna need to fold that out, honey, okay? Let's, uh, let's just rip the bag. Dad never keeps the bags. These are different kind of bags. So, uh... What kind of games do you like, Jane? I like kid board games like yep. Glitter Luck. Glitter Luck is where your unicorns flying around trying mm -hmm. to get crystals. That's a fun one, isn't it? Yeah. And then and the other game we play is uh, the Little Orchard. Uh huh. Where there's a raven and there's a cherry tree. Yeah. And the raven, when you get a raven card, you have to you have to hop one raven on one step. And then if they if it gets the tree, the raven gets the cherries. Yeah. And when you get a cherry card that has a cherry on it, you get one of the cherries from the cherry tree. Whoever gets like if the raven gets to mm -hmm. the cherry tree first, <laughs> um. It, so, so we got to wrap this up. People are going to get impatient. <laughs> it will. Um, but it's a fun game, isn't yeah. it? So you're trying to stop the the raven from getting the getting cherries. your fruit, your cherries. So here's the map. Uh, this is a multi-fold map. Wow, that's uh, huge. Yeah. <laughs> you got to kind of grab the pieces like that. Can you move that box, honey? So we're going to go ahead and lay it out, and I actually flipped it over. Yeah. Get that counter, please. Put it over the wrong way, and sorry, I'm juggling the, uh, the camera stand. As new maps uh, normally go, it doesn't fold out that well right now, but as you can see, on the right side of the game board is the war map. This is where you're going to place your pieces, move them around the map to do battle, 
uh, and, and uh, different elements. On the left side is the administrative side. This is where you're going to uh, debate on issues uh, that will guide the Peloponnesian Wars and help you to execute the game itself. Board is amazing, always well done. Um, it's a little bit abstracted. You can see there in the center it says Athens, um, and it's it's a big box, so you can put a bunch I of things like in there. I like this board game because it has lots of detail, like yeah, in the like land part. Yep, so you can see the different terrain, right? Mm -hmm. You can see the mountains and the hills. Um, you can see we talk about board games quite a bit here in the house. So, uh, but that's the map. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the wood. This is all the wooden bits that come with the game. You can see there's resources, there's men. I think those are uh, forts or bases. So lots of those, we're not gonna open those and up. here are and the two dice. The two dice. A little bag, it's so Yeah, cute. it's so cute. That's a 20-sider <laughs> and a six-sider, and these are only used in the solo game. You will not be using these if you're playing uh, with a human, human opponent. These are the two items. Yep, uh, GMT always does a good job with the bags. There they are. And then there are three different sets of Extra decks. Bags. Extra bags to put those pieces in, right? Mm -hmm. So here you have the Spartan deck. You have the Athens deck. Yeah, if you want to hold that one up there. And this is Can you read that one? Here, show it to the camera. Artist. Era. Aristophanes hands deck. Aristophanes, very, <laughs> very good. So that's the Aristophanes deck. Um, really like the colors of these cards. I'm not gonna go ahead and open these up, but here I did wanna turn. So this is one of the backs of the Aristophanes card. Lots of information there, and then we'll we'll kinda turn those around. That's the um, Spartan deck, and then here is the Athenian deck, kind of the back. And here's the pieces. Yep, there's an insert. Daddy usually gets rid of that. I recycle that. We recycle in our house, don't we? Yes. We definitely uh, recycle. So that, my friends, is Pericles, the Peloponnesian Wars, designed by Mark Herman. Same thing. Um, yeah, it is. Brand spanking new on P500. Uh, in fact, I spanking. I think they mailed this probably last week, Thursday or Friday. I have not seen many people getting it on uh, Twitter or Facebook. I posted my pictures today. Actually had a request for an unboxing video and had a good discussion about a couple of other things. So looking forward to playing this. We will try our hardest to get this unboxing video up tomorrow and we'll go from there. Probably take uh, two, three or so plays. And I may... Before I wanna, hold on, before I wanna enter into any kind of a review. But thanks today to my assistant, Jane. Thank you, babe. And I may help in other vlogs. Yeah, she may help in other, other unboxings, but we'll see how it goes. So there you go. That is Pericles. Thank you.